Hey there, it's uh, John from B2Web going to uh, do a very, very quick overview of the latest uh, Genesis framework version. It's 1.8.1. I try to do these videos uh, every so often with uh, latest Genesis updates. So here we are. I just want to get started and show you the parent-child theme setup if you're not familiar with that. Um, just, just so you know, I, I do a lot of testing of different themes here, so you're going to see quite a bunch of uh, themes that I've used and, and so forth on my test website here. Right now I have installed Backcountry. It's a child theme of uh, Genesis. And what this is, is it's a child theme. So this is what was installed second. Installing parent child is really simple. You install the parent in the usual fashion and then install the chi child. So you'll see down here as I scroll down I have the framework installed first and it's 1.8.1 uh, 8, 1. and then I install the child theme. Updating a Genesis is super uh, simple. Now I've recently updated this, but what will happen is you get a little notice up here, just like a WordPress notice for updating. You click it, and then you you know you just say you want to do it right away. Another click, and it's done. You don't have to reinstall anything. It's absolutely fantastic. And I like the whole child theme concept because any design changes you make in your child theme files, especially the CSS for design changes and so forth, when you update Genesis, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. So uh, the next uh, thing to show you here is the theme settings. Overall I would say since Genesis was released it's become even simpler to use um, yet it has a lot more features. Um, we'll go to the Genesis, you'll get a whole Genesis menu here, we'll go to the settings. So you'll see this is a very simple theme settings panel. I'm just going to go over some of the notable features. You get color styles. Not every child theme will offer multiple color schemes, but some do. And uh, you have six layouts for this particular theme. And you got content sidebar, sidebar content, three column, three column, three column, and full width. And um, some of the child themes will have only three layouts, so be sure to check that if you're really, if you know the six layout thing really interests you. Not all of them offer that, so be sure to check. Uh, you have uh, two horizontal navigation menu bars built into the theme, a primary and a secondary. You can use both, you can use one or the other, or none at all, just by clicking that, it would deactivate those. Your menus, though, are going to be um, set up under appearance and menus, that's custom menus with WordPress. When I go over through that, that's a standard WordPress feature. Uh, Genesis integrates very nicely with it, though. You can uh, dictate your breadcrumbs, you can dictate your trackbacks and comments, you can set up how your archives are going to show up, which is basically a blog page and your archive pages. And then you have some header and footer scripts here, you can put in whatever you want, um, you know, such as like uh, Google Analytics, I guess, would be the most popular one that would be placed in here. So that's the settings, very, very simple. And next I'm going to show you some just a couple of the plugins. And when I said that Genesis became simpler to use yet offered more functions over the few years it's been out, primarily that's due because they actually develop plugins. They're free and they work with Genesis Framework. And that's cool because you can actually choose which features you're going to add to your website. Um, and it's just an install plugin. So you just go to your plugins and you just add a new and you just do your search for whichever one you want. Um, the plugins are listed out on the StudioPress website. Uh, I only have two here. They have a whole host of plugins and they release more all the time. I have the simple hooks and the slider settings. So there's an actual slider that they've released. There's simple sidebars, which is one I often use, which allows you to create different uh, sidebars for different pages and posts. Uh, and then there's uh, several others. Um, most of them are free. I think uh, one or two you have to pay for. So. Yeah, you know, you definitely want to check out the plugins available for the Genesis theme because they really add a lot of functionality to these websites. The next thing is the SEO with Genesis. Now that's found under Genesis menu and I uh, don't know why I'm not seeing it here. Let me take a look. All right. Hey, um, I figured it out. I actually had all-in-one SEO pack installed because I check, I use different themes, different frameworks and so forth on this test website. And um, when this was activated, what happens is the Genesis SEO settings will not 
show up. So I've deactivated all in one SEO and here we are, we've got SEO. This SEO panel is fantastic. I think it's really good. Um, other theme frameworks that I use, I will opt to use the all in one SEO plugin, but for Genesis, I use their built in SEO. I'm not going to go through this in detail. You just be aware of it. You basically have all the options you're going to need to set out the SEO for your, this is for setting it out for site wide and you can, you know, I mean, uh, frankly, I, I don't know what all of this is. I often leave um, it more or less a default. You know, you may want to talk to somebody who's really, really technical with SEO to get more information about that. Essentially, what I do is I set out my title for my site and some meta description and keywords. And sometimes, depending on the site, I'll append the site name to the doc title on inner pages, and that's really about it. So. Uh, like I said, I'm not an SEO wizard. Uh, you know, if you, if you really want to know what every option on this page is, you know, you you want to contact a uh, SEO expert. Now, you can also do the SEO in particular posts and pages. So each of your posts, you're going to have uh, SEO settings: the title, meta description, keywords, and so forth. All right. Um, another thing to mention about the uh, uh, Studio Press is some of their themes are responsive design, and that means that they will display differently depending on the um, the screen size that somebody is viewing the internet. So, uh, responsive is cool because it automatically adjusts the way your website lays out. Um, it's all done through the code. Not every theme right now, Studio Press is responsive. You can check out their website uh, which ones are. And I believe that they're working on seeing that every theme that they have will be responsive. So it'll display differently, say, on an iPhone, uh, Blackberry, or iPad, or just a regular PC uh, desktop computer. And that's pretty much the overview of uh, Studio Press. I think their designs are fantastic. I don't like every one of their designs, but there are some that I really, really like and I use a lot. Uh, Studio Press is the theme framework I use for... Um, uh, a majority of my projects. I do use other theme frameworks uh, depending on the project, but I would say whenever starting a new project, whether it be for myself or a client, I look uh, to see if there's a Studio Press uh, child theme that will get the project started and, and be the best solution. So I, I strongly recommend Studio Press at least checking it out if you're looking for a theme because uh, I've just been really pleased with them over the years and it's simple to use. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.